one question you guys have been asking me for the longest time is Blast Miss HD. You dating any new girls? You talk to any new females? Oh my God. You gotta let us know what's going down on the genitalia home front. We gonna say this chick's name is... Uh, uh, we gonna say this chick's name is Hillary. Matter of fact, I actually have a story about a Hillary. Oh boy, all right, so, so look. Y'all already know I live in a really, really big mansion. I got three cribs right now to keep it real with y'all. Cause I haven't been here for a minute. Like I've been dabbling in real estate a little bit. That's why I got the three cribs. Plus me, I like moving to different places. I like being in different places. I like a change of environment from time to time. So, you know what I mean? This is where I create my content at. And then I got another place where I just go to, you know, just kick my feet up and chill, you know what I mean? A little kicking spot. All right, so, so if y'all keep up on my Instagram, link in the description down below for said Instagram. A while back, you might have seen a couple of posts of some huge parties I was throwing at this crib. I'm talking huge, all right? You know what I mean? This, I, and the beautiful thing was the female to male ratio was like 80 20. So they was everywhere. Man, I, I could do a whole nother story just about the parties. Because one of them got shot up. I was doing too much. When you get a crib this big, you know what I'm saying? It's just you and a bunch of your friends. And all y'all do is make videos and kick it and chill. You know what I'm saying? You tend to fall prey to what we in the community like to call doing too much. That's exactly what happened when we was throwing these parties, man. It was trail. So I was talking to one of my homeboys, man, Scotty Chicken. He was like, yo. You know what I mean? I know a bunch of people that know a bunch of people that know a bunch of people that, and they know a bunch of people too and they can get the party cracking. I saw some of the females that was gonna be bringing through. I was like, bruh, like, let's do it. I'm with that. Next thing you know, party's going down. Huge party, man. It's about 150, 300 something people, man. I am like an introvert, extrovert. And what I mean by that is I enjoy my alone time, people. But at the same time, I also am a little bit of a party animal. Think of Ferris Bueller's Day Off, okay? I'm basically the urban version of that, okay? I would totally get up on the flow, take the mic, and start trying to promote my mixtape. Once the party was cracking, I go to the bathroom. Not gonna go into uh, detail, nobody wants that. But once I came out, you know what I mean? Oh, way more people at the party than when I went out. Then when I went to the bathroom, I go into the kitchen to get me a sandwich. My homie Scotty Chickens, he up in the kitchen. He got two females bootying them down at the same time. It's funny too, cause like light skinned one was like fighting with the the blacker girl as to who could get, you know what I mean? More of their anuses onto his genitalia. Did you think I actually wanted you? Pretty much. Oh, well, that's not my problem, is it? You were the one that caught the feelings. Why do you treat feelings like it's, like it's some sort of STD or something? I'm not the one that caught them. See? Victim shaming. You See? always do this. See? Denial. It's not my fault you thought I actually felt the same way. I'll beat your ass for saying that. Mm. Go ahead. Can't resist. What was the reason for this? What was the reason for what? Why'd you do it? You know why. No. Okay? I don't, that's why we're here. Because I care about you. If you cared, you wouldn't have done it. If you cared, you wouldn't care that I'd done it. <laughs> if it's any consolation, there were other guys too. Congratulating the homie from like all this, like, hey, bruh, unless you care about the woman that is like dragging her butt cheeks 
on your happy place, the more they want to do it. It don't make no sense. The homie is literally in there like, He's trying to like move the females out the way so that he could get stuff out the fridge and stuff. You know what I mean? But the chicks didn't want, they was just like chasing them down with it and shit. To me, now I go downstairs to get into the meatiest part of the party. So I got the speaker and I turn on music and it gets way more litty. And I'm just like, you know what I mean? Like I'm playing, you know, like Tatiana's like bust down, Tati. Yeah, no. Like I'm just getting it right next to the, to, to the, uh, to the speaker. Now me, whenever I get around a bunch of people, I'm not really going out of my way to really conversate with people, especially if I'm playing music that I enjoy to hear. If I'm listening to good music, I don't care about women. I don't care. Like there was some females playing pool and I'm right next to the pool table and I'm you know just dancing and stuff, just doing my thing. So the girls that was playing pool, I could already tell they a little bit ratchet, which I ain't mad at that because weirdly enough, like I, I really get along with ratchet females, but like I normally don't date ratchet chicks. It's it's weird. They they be thinking that they deserve stuff, and me, I'm like, man, you ain't done nothing to prove that you deserve much of anything. To me, it just usually never works out. Like if I'm with a chick and we enjoy each other's company, I do stuff for her, but if she just come around like, oh, I ain't even gonna do nothing. I ain't gonna contribute to none of your help you at all. None of, none of that, you know? But here's a list of stuff that I deserve. Yeah, you know I'm saying like, I just, I just, I'm just not good with that. It just normally don't even work. You just gonna come to the pot, open it up, take the stuff out. You ain't even put nothing in. Like time, effort, Mouth sex, like, you ain't put nothing into the pot and you just expect me to just like, you know what I mean? Just be giving you stuff. <laughs> so, uh, I'm downstairs, man, and I'm next to the speaker and I'm dancing and whatnot, you know what I mean? I'm doing, I'm, I'm, I'm doing my thing. And some of the females is playing pool. They come over and they start, you know, just reciprocating conversationally with your boy. It's looking real good, but I'm not really paying it no mind. I'm playing the music, you know what I mean? There's women everywhere. I'm having a great time. I'm not caring about nothing. About 25 minutes into me DJing, this chick who was better than every female as well. Mind you, I was not dressed, okay? I didn't have any expensive, nice clothes and whatnot. I didn't have none of that at the time. I'm wearing pajama pants, bruh. Baddest chick, hands down at the party, walks up to me. Well, she got hazel eyes. Chick is built like a mutant. Mutant. There's girls that look cool, and then there's girls that look good, and then there's females that just look delicious. This chick was the upper enchilon of delicious looking chicks. She had all the spring break titty. Not only that, chicks waist was hella slim. Booty meat was like on fleek, like it was, you know what I'm saying? But it wasn't too much booty meat, you know what I'm saying? It was the picture perfect amount of booty meat. It was beautiful. I don't know if it was the fact that I already had a bunch of girls like talking to me and hitting on me and stuff at the party, you know what I'm saying? Or if it was the fact that I was listening to music I really enjoyed, cause I'm dancing, I'm dancing by myself. I, I don't even understand the logistics of why the females was all over, I, I didn't get it. I'm dancing by myself. I'm wearing pajamas. I got a whole robe and everything, bro. She rolled for me, man. She wearing all white. And she's just like, yo, do you have any cards? And me, I'm literally dancing like by myself while this girl is like three feet in front of me asking me these questions. I didn't care nothing about her. I was too busy getting it in with myself. Not like that. You you know what I mean. This chick was literally the baddest chick I've ever messed with. You can tell by my jumpy body language when I describe her breast You know what I'm saying? So chick roll up and she like, yo, you got any cards? And I'm not, you know what I mean? I heard the question, you know what I mean? And I just go to give it a regular answer. I'm like, oh, my bad, I don't got no business cards on me. Cause you know, like this is just, this is a party and stuff. Like, you know, and then I just go right back to, you know what I mean? Like, you know, getting low with myself. And I'm not even trying to dance with her. I'm just, you know, just saucing it up or down. D definitely a direction. I'm all in there. And the chick, she start laughing. She like, business cards? What are you talking about? I mean playing cards. And then she points over to a table where her and like 
seven females was playing like spades or something involved in playing cards. You know what I mean? And I'm just, I'm just like, oh, you mean playing cards? She started busting laughs. She's like, yo, what did you think I meant? I'm like, yo, my bad. You know what I mean? I'm a businessman. So I thought you meant business cards. So she turned around and she rolled out. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, all right, cool. I just go back to doing what I do best, which is getting my dance on. And then like 10 minutes later, the chick come back over and then she start talking again. And I don't really remember what she was saying, but she was saying stuff. But she wasn't like trying to get at me or nothing like that. She didn't ask for my number. I didn't ask for her number. It was just a regular like conversation. My brain was literally like, bro, this chick is crazy bad. Like you, you, you just gonna, you just gonna talk to her, talk to her. You ain't even gonna like try to see if you could like slide a little, you know what I mean? Get just a taste of like, you know what I mean? I was having such a good time. I really, really didn't care. So this was on the 4th of July. We had a whole bunch of fireworks set up that we was gonna pop off outside. But a half an hour later, music still popping or whatever. Now it's time to fire off the fireworks. So me and the homies, man, we going through the house gathering everybody together so everybody can go out and pop the fireworks. You know, when I run into the chick, she with this like big black dude. He looked like way bigger and way buffer Black Panther. He had like a bunch of muscles and stuff. He was like hella thick and whatnot. When I saw it, I was like, eh. you know, she already with a dude. She already doing the thing. Okay, well, she already got a man. All right. That's what's up. I ain't mad at it. Let's get these fireworks popping though. So we get everybody together, man. We go outside and we get the fireworks together and whatnot. And the dude, he was doing stuff that let me know that he wasn't really her man man. But he was just trying to hopefully be her man man. He was flaunting her off. We outside, man, and we getting ready to pop the fireworks. So dude puts her on his motorcycle, you know, cause he had a motorcycle. And he's like driving her around, wheeling with her on the back and all this, woo! You know what I mean? I was peeping it, but I ain't peeping enough as to where as they knew I was peeping it. We were setting off fireworks. Again, link in the description down below to my Instagram. Make sure to go check that out because, you know, there's pictures of all of this type of stuff on there. And then when the fireworks was done, the white lady across the street done called the cops like four times. You know what I'm saying? And they came over and like started searching all of us in the house to make sure we didn't have any drug paraphernalia. You know what I mean? Make sure we was on the up and up. We was just like, whatever, whatever. We just understood that, okay, we gotta turn the party down. So about 11.30, we bring the party inside. We close all the doors, that way the neighbors can't hear the music and all this whatnot. So now there's only like 11 of us left. It's Hillary, the dude that was wheeling in her on the motorbike. You know, my homeboy Scotty Chicken, Zav, Matt Gretzky, whole bunch of other homies. And we jump in the living room and we playing video games and kicking it. So my homeboy Scotty pulled me aside like, yo, it's that time if you know any of the females that was up in there that you were met at the party or whatever that day, you know what I mean? Like it's time to do adult stuff. I mean, I go back in the living room and I let everybody else know, all right, hey, thank you everybody for coming through. But like, if you ain't in our immediate friend group, then you gonna have to roll any dudes that we don't really know. You know what I mean? The bad ones, they could stay. But you a dude or whatever, man, like, you have no power here. I say that expecting for the dude that's with Hillary to get up and roll out. Homie stayed sitting down like he was part of the crew. And we was just like, ooh. So my homeboy Scotty Chickens, he looked at Hillary and he like, yo, like, is this your dude? Like, because if this is your dude, like your dude dude, he could stay. But if he's just a random that you just made, he, he, he gotta go. And the female, oh my God, bruh. Oh my God, bruh. She look at Scotty, she like, ugh, hell no. And I'm just like, damn. You just gonna say that to his face? You just gonna say that to his face? What? Bruh. <laughs> got no chill. The baddest females have the least chill. And that's the realest is she ever wrote. Baddest chicks got the least amount of chill, yo. They care so little. The dude, he's still sitting there. And now after this has been said, the dude, he starts like upping his amount of, you know, physical touch on the chick. He starts, you know, trying to whisper sweet nothings into her ear and stuff. You know, ramping up his game or so he thought so that he could either get the number or get her to leave with him. I can respect it. 
You know what I mean? I would do the same thing if I was in the predicament. I got 30 seconds up on the shot clock. It is a game winner. I got the ball. I got to shoot. Oh. fan there hit my knuckle excruciating he trying to hit that clutch shot and the chick just ups her curve game just like uh-uh no mm -mm. don't touch me uh-uh mm -mm. no uh-uh you being too much uh-uh let me just crashing and burning bad so i stand up i was already a bit frustrated at dude that he didn't do what i told him to do beforehand i walk up to him he's sitting down i'm standing up there was like no aggression and the first time i asked him and this time there was like 30 percent more aggression in it by aggression i don't mean like ugh. it was more like just sternness you know i'm telling you to get out of my crib if you ain't gonna listen then we gonna have a problem so i got up you know like stepped up on him and was like yo hey bro like i said it was a pleasure having you here but you're gonna have to roll when i did this everything got quiet it is almost as if Everyone else already knowing the type of person I am expected a fight. Have you recently found out that your side chick is cheating on you? Have you hit on a girl only for her to tell you no just because her husband was standing a couple of feet away from you guys? Have you punched somebody and then they turn around and have the nerve to actually hit you back? Does your girlfriend not give blowjobs? Hi, my name is Blasphemous HD, attorney at law and reaction channel, but I will happily abandon my reaction channel to get you the money that you deserve. You may know me from my struggling rap career, my many failed penis enlargement surgery attempts, or the video of me on the internet of me fighting a female at VidCon a couple of years ago, but I want you to know me as your last defense against whole ex-wives and small penis ex-husbands. Because this lawyer plays both sides of the field. It's the law, it's not golf, and anybody who plays golf is a disappointment to the people that prefer tennis. Call me today, because love is a prostitute, let's poop on her chest together. Teach me how to duggy, ayy. It's my shit, cuz. It be like smooth. Can you teach me how to duggy? So, when I told him that second time, you know, I grabbed it, I, yeah, I, I gave him dap and whatever. You know what I mean? It was a little bit rougher with it. I was like, yo, yeah, bro. You know what I mean? It's time for you to go. We don't even know you like that. You you got to roll. I could tell that he still didn't want to get up. He took an extra three seconds to get up. In which case, that kind of irked me. You know what I mean? And I ain't even gonna lie. Like, they must have been able to feel me because I stayed standing up this time. I'm just like, you gotta go or you're just gonna get beat the hell up. Balls in your court, brother. You're bigger than me, but... But nah, dude, he looks at the girl one last time, he's like, you coming with me? And she was like, hell no, ugh. <laughs> they can love you one second, and in the next second, you completely disgust them. They don't even, they don't even want to hear your voice. It's, it's hilarious. My homeboy Scotty Chickens, he's hella with it. And all the other homies, they hella with it. You know what I mean? But me, I'm like, nah, 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 like, nah, this is, this is a one on one situation. I don't want any of that. Cause stuff always gets broken when someone's getting packed out. I don't want that in the crib. So homie gets up and he rolls out. So in my eyes, I'm like, church. It's going down now. Yeah, yeah, but, but I ain't gonna lie. I'm still not, cause a girl, she ain't give me no signs whatsoever that she was trying to get back shots from me. At least. You know, I just didn't know, dude. I just didn't want him there. I didn't care about the female. Hey, you gotta go. Hey, we played video games for about 45 minutes, and the chick, she ain't had a lot of bit to drink, but she had a little bit to drink. And the homie, Scotty, like, being a good person, he was still like, yo, you should chill here tonight and sleep off the drinks you had already drunken on, and just leave in the morning. Like, trying to shoot me one. I would do the, the, the fadeaway shot again, but I'm a, I don't want to hit my knuckle. Oh! Ah! God damn it! <laughs> Ah, and the chick was just like, yo, like, nah, 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 I'm fine, I'm fine, you know, I'll be fine, I gotta take my friends home. And, you know, the homie, he didn't want her driving, having any drinks on her, so he's like, yo, nah, you should stay here. And chick got, like, hella mad. I'm like, nah, I'm going, I'm going driving, blah, 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 and we couldn't do nothing about it. You know what I'm saying? Well, chick would have crashed. Oh, well. Yeah, but wear your seatbelt. Me, I'm thinking that nothing's going down. I'm like, all right, beautiful party, great turnout, oh, I had a ton of fun. <laughs> I didn't care enough. Chick leaves or whatever. 
So I'm up in my room or whatever, packing up my stuff to go back to one of my other cribs. And I had, you know, a, a female friend at one of my other cribs who was like waiting on your boy. So I'm like, all right, cool. You know, like I'm just gonna, you know, go have a good time over there instead. I get ready to go. I'm literally walking down the stairs. And my homeboy Scotty, he comes, he's like, yeah, 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 yo. That chick who was at the party or whatever, man, you know what I mean? The little, uh, the Hillary chick, bruh, she wanna hang out with you tonight. She wanna, you know what I mean, wanna chill. You know, I don't know if there's a Netflix involved, but she want to chill. Females move really slow, usually. So I'm just like, all right, well, you know, I'll kick with the chick, chill, hang out, have a good time. You know what I mean? Like, maybe for like an hour and a half or so. You know what I mean? And then after that, I'll just go to the other crib, you know, kick it with my other female friend. But at the same time, I'm excited because I'm like, yo, like, it's a new prospect. This chick was bad, 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 bad. And she would have come back and kick it with your boy. I bet. I'm up here doing push-ups. I'm up here doing everything to make sure that I look as 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 delicious as possible when I see her tonight. You know what I'm saying? But I'm in my drawers. I'm up here for like 45 minutes, man. I'm just doing a quick little workout, man. You know what I mean? Because I usually work out before I go to sleep. You know what I mean? I'm getting ready to go jump in the shower. I'm like, man, put a bruh. I bruh. This is embarrassing. This is embarrassing. I'm literally in my mirror, because there's a mirror on my closet. I'm literally standing in the mirror of my of my walk-in closet. It's like checking myself out. Like, ooh, that's a Ooh, I got a line, man. That's a good line. Ooh, yeah, that's okay. I'm in nothing but my boxers. Bruh, tell me why. Chick just walk into my room. You ain't gonna knock or nothing. I could have been trying to squeeze out that easy one. And like, I'm just frozen, like. Uh. Huh? No cap. Chick just get buck naked. Out of nowhere. As if the chick could sense my apprehension and fear in the situation and my standoffness, of course, what does a bad female do? She just get buck hole naked. That just take off everything. I was like, <laughs> I immediately become the female in the situation. You know what I mean? Cause dudes is usually like, yo, like, you know what I mean? Like, so when we, we doing it or, you know, we jiggling. Usually, dudes is the one that's trying to be like, yo, hey, let's do it. Like, you know what I mean? They usually trying to push the envelope. Bro, when she do that, I'm just like, whoa! 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 Ho whoa! Hold up! Hold up! Hold up! You ain't even gonna ask my name first. You don't even wanna talk first. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You just, you just, you just go, just, just, just take it all off. Yeah, you know I mean, I ain't gonna lie, I got scared. I ain't even gonna lie, I got scared. I did. Because any dude will tell you the only thing scarier than a female saying no is when she say yes. I was literally shook. I was super shook. I'm just vulnerable right now. Like my stuff is just out in the open. As if she could sense my apprehension, she says to me, like this is exactly her words. This is exactly what she said to me. She's looking at me, she's like, oh, don't be scared. It's just a little bit of good pussy. And when she said that, it activated my, my real nigga senses. Cause like Maurice was just like, we can't get to know each other first. You know what I mean? Can we cuddle? Can we just talk? And my real nigga sisters was just like, hey, yo, hey, 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 hey. No, you ain't no punk. What are you scared? Like my brain, I swear to God, my brain just started saying all these things. What you scared? You scared of the, the deliciousness? Yo, yo, hey, man up. Swear to God, that's exactly. Hey, don't be, don't be no. Swear to God, that's what my brain said to me. You better go handle that and think with the other brain. Don't shut me off. Get down there. I'm left with no other choice. I basically had to psychologically defend myself in this situation. And what did psychological self-defense look like? I just took my drawers off. I'm only scared of ghosts. I ain't never been scared of, a, of, of two titties. If it had been like an odd number of titties or something, like I, I probably would have been, been like a lot more apprehensive. You know what I mean? But since it was the right amount, so I was like, if it was three, or one, or five, or four, then we, you know what I mean? I might have had to been like, hey, look, I, you can't tell nobody. Turn off the lights. Get them. Come on. We hung out for like three days straight in the room, you know, just hanging out. Just playing video games. It was what's up. Still a really good friend of mine. You know what I mean? Good person. The roles were reversed. 
They were so reversed. Cause I'm buck naked, she buck naked. Bro, she came over to me and like started hugging on me and stuff and like kissing on me and whatnot. It was just really, really different. We know clothes cuddling and literally just cuddling, you know what I'm saying? Cause like, she was like filling me out. And I'm just like, but we're already naked. Like, you're sitting on my upper stomach. It's like, yeah, we naked and we on top of each other, but we gonna go slow now. And I'm just like, okay. Okay. All right, man. Okay. I was just like, bruh, like, I did not know that that was a thing. I, I just didn't know that that happened. And especially if it happened, I didn't expect it from like the baddest and richest chick I'd ever met and had a conversation with every month. I'd never expected that from someone of that upper of the upper enchilada. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I can't even tell y'all the rest, bro. Cause it it it, it was it was uh it was so uh, yeah that was uh that was that situation. And uh, it, it then I find out later on that the chick is like filthy, stinking rich. I'm like, how you bad and rich? How does that even happen? And where are your friends at? You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, bruh, I should have gotten paid for that. I should have gotten paid. <laughs> I should have gotten paid, man. No! Bruh, if I was a gold digger, I would have gotten gold. Cause, you know what I mean? She really, 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 really liked me after that. After we kicked it those couple of days. She really liked me. You know what I mean? Hope you guys enjoyed the story. You know what I mean? Uh, Y'all been asking me for the longest time to tell more stories and stuff. So I'm doing that right now. I'm here, y'all welcome. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to comment, like, and don't subscribe. Just go last me say HD. You know what I mean? My Instagram is in the description down below. If you guys wanna see me nunchuck to stuff, my TikTok is also in the link down below. You know what I'm saying? Uh, oh, again, I know a lot of you guys, y'all want me to like start cursing on here and whatnot, but you know, my mansion ain't cheap. You know what I'm saying? All of this lighting equipment y'all don't see around me. None of it's cheap. If you want, uh, I have memberships on this channel now. So yo, so when we get to, uh, cause I know you guys want parody music. You guys want music and I already get, I already did some songs. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna release uh, a music video for a song called I made called Just Pills. You know what I mean? Y'all already know the song Just Chill or On Chill. I made a remix of it called Just Pills. You know, I have a story where a dude, like, literally, like, he put Rooflin and a female friend of mine drink, and I, I didn't know what was going on. Like, she just seemed really freaking drunk. I didn't know what was going on. I made the music video from the perspective of the dude that put Rooflin in her drink. So it's called Just Pills. Just Pills. <laughs> Look, one of my female friends asked me what I got her for Christmas. And I told her, musty butt cheeks. And she was she she was like, oh, just what I wanted. And sent this, sent this emoji with it, like. <laughs> oh, musty butt cheeks, ho. This <laughs> just pills. <clears throat> I'll even read, I'll even uh, I'm gonna even read y'all. Cause you know what I mean? Go back and listen to uh On Chill by uh, uh Wale, you know what I mean? This is uh, the song of, of uh, I, I remade his song. So if you want to get the cadence and all of that, go listen to that. I might even put instrumental up here so y'all can hear it. Uh, I got a drug you for some butt. Why can't you just sit on me at once? Hopefully we Netflix and chill tonight. If not, then I'll just give you pills. Right. I'ma pull the switch and put that shit off in your drink, yeah. Too white for charisma and then just having patience. I do what I got it without no hesitation. What's the good of some loving if she's still fully waking? No longer can I take it. Leave her work, she fake it. Mommy can't be this week. Oh shit, she really sleep. <laughs> yeah. When we when we reach a hundred memberships, you know what I mean? I'ma release the song. You know what I mean? And when we reach 500 memberships. Be it five dollars or whatever on above. The hundred dollar membership is gonna be, you know what I mean? Like I'ma add you. I think like once a week, I'll do a group call with everybody who is in the hundred dollar club, 
and I'll just tell y'all whatever stories y'all want to hear. Y'all get for like a full, for like a full 30 minutes to an hour. However long y'all y'all keep me entertained, I'll stand there and just tell y'all every disgusting, raunchy, freak, nasty thing I've ever that's I've ever done. When I reach a thousand memberships, I'ma drop like another music video for y'all. Make sure to cop the membership. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. You know what I'm saying? If you did, make sure to comment, like, and don't subscribe. It's more blasting. Say D. You know what I mean? Twisms.